Just one across the face. Because I was a little bit rude. Go ahead. <laughs> on the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. So we're on the road. We're going to Santa Fe, Texas, which is essentially Greater Houston. Right. We are going to see Michael Quinn and his art gallery. And he has some pieces that you're not going to see anywhere else in the world. Nope. Because he's an original. The great thing is he is going to teach us how to make art. I'm kind of an artist. You wait, you are? So let me show you something. You keep driving. Don't show me now. I can't stop him on the highway. You might have to pull over for this. I made these. <laughs> you look like Will Smith. Well, yeah, I made them in 1991. Sad. Look. They have pockets. There's a pocket. Look, I stitched that. I am an artiste. Yeah, yeah and smell them. They, they smell like old I material. I don't want to smell them. Okay, are we done smelling? <laughs> Do I just go in here? Check out that pig. I love it. I wonder what his name is. I know. Hi, Mike. I'm Christina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet That's you. Ralph. Hey, Ralph. Nice Pleasure. to meet you. I need to see a little bit of love before I'll be found. You're gonna need another horse to drag me around. I think I was born an artist. I started making things when I was 10 years old uh, out of ceramic clay a few doors down from our house. And then it came full circle all the way when I was in college and I wasn't doing that well in vet school. And I took a ceramics class as an elective and then I decided, or it actually turned out, I started selling some pieces to the people that were my classmates. classmates. Yeah. And then I thought, you know, light bulb went off. I said, hey, I could sell this stuff. So it was really odd in a way because it was something that I never really valued, being able to be creative and to make things. And then it turns out it was actually the most valuable thing that I had. You have your fish inside the Chewy's restaurants. For 18 years we did. Yeah. yeah, we sold tons of fish in Austin. That's really kind of what put me on the map was my Chewy deal. And I look, we do a lot of internet sales on fishwithattitude.com. Yeah. And, uh, and then we also uh, have our studio showroom that's also open to the public uh, with appointment. Okay, Chris, it's time for survival items. What did you bring? Okay, if you heard the term starving artist, yeah. I hate to be hungry. I know. Oh my gosh, where did you get all this? Did you steal this from work? I brought food. I, you don't have to eat it. Well, I'm, I'm, it's I don't my want survival it. item. I don't wanna eat it. All right, not your stronger survival item. I don't think, uh, not a lot of thought went into that. Starving artist, right, hungry. Is, is survival item's gonna get canceled because you're not putting enough thought into no. it? Fine, what was your- Okay, was I brought something appropriate for this event. A spackle clay thing. And I brought some gloves because I don't want to get my hands all dirty. This is what I want you to do so you'll feel better. I just go ahead and slap me with this. Just do it. Just one across the face. Because I was a little bit rude. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say slap me hard. Uh, okay. You feel better? <laughs> all right. You. Your survival items still suck. <laughs> I don't got a million dollars. I don't own no rocks and So Mike is just a really nice guy. So anytime we do something, he's like, no, it's good. It's good It's that you did it right. And then, but, but when we walk away, he goes back and he's got to fix it. Let's do this. Okay, this is uh, a slab of clay that I'm rolling out with a rolling pin. The project we're going to do is we're going to hand build a pelican, a freestanding pelican, kind of similar to the pelicans back there. We want to give him like a, a round little belly. Oh, okay. Have at it. No, it's okay. Each person gets a beak. Thank you. Pinch it on one side. Okay. We taper it. And we're gonna... Any work that you do with your hands is, is very uh, fulfilling. And to get lost in, in building some mythical creature is just therapeutic. I think I missed the tail. That is a tricky project, I will say. I mean, now you're just getting, you just feel bad. You, yeah. you feel bad because it's so ugly. No, I, I think it's beautifully done. <laughs> but to fix it. But. <laughs> <laughs> what? Stop. 
I, you're missing the whole point of this. I'm... The whole point is that we're out here, we're telling everybody that's watching about this cool thing you can come see and thing that you can do at home, you're, and you're focused on the imperfections. Who cares? So watch. Let's see if we can fix it. We'll <laughs> Thank you, Positive Polly. Boom. We did it. We did. Mike's, Ralph's, Christina's. I like it. I think we did a good job. For two people that have never done that, B minus. <laughs> B minus. Well, I'm not gonna give us an A. Where are you gonna put yours? In my office at work. Okay, so that I can see it every day? Yes. Good job. Okay. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, You're moving with your auntie and an uncle. In Bel Air. Yeah.